हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन आर टूडे सेशन आर टूडे टॉपिक इज अ पॉयम एंड टाइटल्ड एट द बैक ऑफ प्रोग्रेस रिटर्न बाय तस्लीमा नसरीन दिस पॉइम इज प्रेस्क्राइब इन एम इन बी ए पार्ट थर्ड और पेपर फर्स्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इन एम जी एस यू बी कानी ना लेट्स हैव ए ब्रीफ इंट्रो ऑफ आर टू डेज पॉइंट हु इज तस्लीमा नसरीन सी वॉज बॉर्न इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ अगस्ट इन is a well known bangladeshi writer and former physician and she is well known for her writing on women's oppression and uh, criticism of uh, religion despite forced exile and multiple fatwas calling for her death to because of her controversial writing she she was forced into exile in 1994 and she had her earlier education in mamins in medical college and graduated in 1984 with an mbbs degree and after her graduation she worked at a family planning clinic in mamins for a while but gradually gave it up to take up writing full time known as one of the noted feminist authors of south asia her works condemned the patriarchal practices and oppression of women in the islamic community her writing was sexual honest and received huge criticism from conservative muslim population and that's why she has been blacklisted and banished from bangladesh and as a result she was forced to go into hiding and relocate to sweden she rose to global fame by the end of the 20th century uh, owing to her essays and novels with feminist views and criticism of religious fundamentalism since uh, leaving bangladesh in 1994 on account of threats she has lived in many countries including india and the united states as a the so called religious fundamentalist in bangladesh they issued a fatwa against her that's why she had to uh, flee from her own country and she is very provocative and writer who who works to build support for secular humanism freedom of thought equality for women and human rights by publishing lecturing and campaigning her famous works include lajja novel which uh, published in 1993 amar mai bela 1999 and rikhan di 2003 so come to our today's poem the uh, at the back of progress is a poem by nasreen that explores the theme of violence against women in all the levels of society here the poet talks about three men who are representative of three different classes of society respectively high society middle class and lower class as well there is a huge difference in the lifestyle of all these people but one thing that is common is their attitude towards women they live a very sophisticated and cultured life outside but at their homes wives are object for them whom they can beat without any reason even sex is also a medium of oppression for them with which they can prove their superiority so this is the background of our today's poem and uh, as we know our the title of is also very indicative of the double standards of society that you know on the name of uh, so called development or progress the condition of women is still worst and even in the text the poet has also tried to ex pose the bitter this bitter truth of our society and let's begin the text so here we are the fellow who sits in the air conditioned office is the one who is in his youth raped 
a dozen or so young girls and at cocktail parties is secretly stricken with lust, fastening his eyes on Lovely's belly buttons. In five-star hotels, he tries out his different sexual tastes with a variety of women, then returns home and beats his wife because of an over-iron handkerchief or shirt collar. So, you can see here that the poet very beautifully and sarcastically actually tries to expose the double standards of so-called highly acclaimed or educated people who behave a differently at different level so this fellow who is uh, a high ranking boss who sits in his air conditioned office and and but do, in his youth he had he had various sex Escapades in his youth, and he ogles lustfully at the beauty, uh, at the beautiful women in parties, and he in cocktail parties. He secretly uh, throws his eyes, fastening his eyes on Lovely's belly buttons. Means belly buttons. Means. Uh, on the navel or beautiful those girls who are in parties uh, he used to to have his evil eye on them uh, for just for uh, satisfying his lust so this is the kind of his character and in, he also indulges in uh, sexual tastes at different times in five-star hotels uh, with a variety of women and when he returns home he beats his wife daily and what was the re reason this violence against his wife because of an over iron handkerchief or shirt collar so such, such trivial matter he beats his wife that why maybe his the shirt collar is over gets over iron uh, or his handkerchief maybe oh, is over iron by her his wife so uh, such trivial matters he used to abuse he he uses to abuse his wife he beats his wife so such is the attitude of this highly ranked officer and likewise in the next paragraph the poet also exposes his other hidden aspects of his life in his office mr big puffs of nasty great suffers through his files rings for his employee shouts demands tea drinks and returns to writing people's character reference so here the poet tries to expose how morally corrupt how double standard life is followed by that this highly sophisticated person who he in his office he use a cigarette he uh, smoke indulges in smoking and he suffers means he uh, turns the files and he also orders his employees, his shouts and demands teas and drinks and also he has the authority to give other people, to give out character references to people and uh, sarcastically here the poet questions this 
veracity of such references from a man who is himself is morally corrupt how can he give uh, how can he has the authority to give a character certificate to other people who is himself is morally highly immoral uh, highly corrupt person his employee speaks in such a low voice that no one would ever suspect how at home he also raises his voice is wild to his family but with his buddies on the porch or at a movie indulges in loud harangues on politics art literature and how some female his mother grandmother or great grandmother committed suicide now in these lines the poet describes another person related to an another class of another strata of society here it is the employee who represents the middle class person and in his office he speaks in very soft low voice that nobody can suspect on him that at home how he he behaves to his voice he behaves with his wife how that no but he can suspect that if he can raise his voice in his family but when on outside his home when he is with his buddies on the porch or at a movie indulges in loud loud harangues on politics art literature so outside his home nobody can suspect on him that how Uh, highly he uh, seems to be a genuinely civilized or sophisticated person who always engaged in discussions on films politics art literature who speaks very gently in his office or with his friends and also talks about that he also expresses his sympathy on how Uh, his some of family uh, female members of his family like his mother grandmother or great mother they they had committed suicide um, on these matter he seems to have very uh, liberal or thoughts but at the same time at his home he shouts at his wife he abuses he also beats her bidding goodbye to his buddies he returns home beats his wife over a bar of soap or the baby's pneumonia so that employee is also after after departing Uh, from his friends he, when he returns his home he also beats his wife and he on such trivial matters over a bar of soap or baby's pneumonia so he also shouts at his wife abuses and beats so finally the poet talks about the next level of man who is the lower strata who belongs to a lower class of society maybe he is a worker or he is a waiter next day at work he pleasantly brings the tea keeps the lighter in his pocket receives a tip of a coupon of taka and tells no one that he divorced his first wife for her sterility his second for giving birth to a daughter his third for not bringing a sufficient dowry now with wife number 4 he again has someone to beat over a green chili or a handful of rice so here the poet finally talks about a man who belongs to lower state of society he 
who keeps a lighter in his pocket and who brings tea for the people in his uh, in some kind of restaurant or hotel who it seems that he may be a waiter and who also gets tips uh, for, for his service and he doesn't tell to anyone that why he has divorced his first wife and second and third that so he is such a arrogant tree person who who divorced his first wife only because of the reason that she doesn't have child she is a barren woman like she because of her infertility because of her sterility he has divorced her his first wife and he has also divorced um, for his um, his second wife for just because she gave birth to a daughter a girl and his third wife for not bringing enough dowry in his marriage so and now with wife number 4 he again has someone to beat or a green chili or a handful of rice he beats his fourth wife for trivial things such as for the trivial issues as green chili or maybe a handful of rice more or less with doing his uh, meal time so these are such trivial matters which exposes his uh, his uh, double mentality that uh, these people are highly uh, sophisticated they seem to have very uh, mm, good life of a, a genuine sophisticated civilized uh, uh, life they but the treatment they they the kind of treatment they do to towards their wife it, it exposes their inner brutality to towards female members of their family the title is very very much sarcastic and uh, identical uh, that it mirrors the um, conservative the patriarchal mindsets of society the treatment that made it out to these women at home their domination their suppression they do not figure in the index of economic progress and development of society they they are the the so called progress of society is irrelevant because the the condition of women is very very much poor and here yeah, the poet uh, tries to expose this bitter truth that while the society claims to be developing and progressing but the situation of women in each and every strata in each and every class society remains the same the exploitation the male treatment exists at all levels of society so here it seems that the poet seeks to draw our attention to the common act of wife beating which seems to pervade the cross section of society in her country and in other part 
for that other part of world for that matter or in every society you can say so here the crisis of womanhood is exposed the theme of crisis of womanhood the quest for their identity they were dominantly uh, expressed by um, is expressed by the poetess here so here the theme of uh, the 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 feminist issues like victimization of women oppression of women their the crisis of their uh, individuality the commentary and on the patriarchal system of the society all these have been very broken presently have been discussed by the poet um, or have been talked about the poet here so i hope you have understood it well now students will meet in our next class thank you